a bit nervous. Uh, probably just get nervous uh, later in the week, but at the moment, just staying calm. Tell us, how did, how'd you find out? Who told you? When? How'd that all happen? Uh, I found out uh, in meeting. Um, Bags was going through um, Riru, and then at the end, he just told me and I just cried shut eye. <laughs> You've been here now, you came in 2022. So this has been a long time coming, right? You, you've you played, I think, almost 30 games in New South Wales Cup for the Magpies. Did you always still believe that you, you would you would make your NRL debut at some point? Yeah, I was stuck to my dream. You know, it's been a dream since I was young to play first grade. And um, yeah, just stuck with it and here I am now. I spoke to Benji before preseason. He said, this will set you up throughout the year. And like off season, I just stuck in, you know, started training, lost a bit of weight, and yeah, Benji gave me this opportunity this year. Yeah. Did you ever have doubts that maybe this this wouldn't happen? Um, no, not really. But at the start of the year, I had to overcome an injury to my foot. I had to, you know, overcome. But it wasn't down to me. I had to stay strong. After the eight weeks, um, I still I got I got down to business after that. Um, just um, doing my thing out there, training hard, um, yeah. It's a really big family you come from and a really big rugby league family. So there's five boys and three have already made their NRL debut. Two of them are here with us at West <laughs> Tigers and you're going to be the fourth. Mum and Dad must be very proud, huh? Yeah, no, nah, they're happy as. Um, they're all waiting for me. Um, she said I'm the last one. The best one too, so. <laughs> How does it feel that you will be making your NRL debut with, alongside one of your brothers? Nah, it feels amazing. I played with him, Charles, first time playing with him. And um, again, to make my debut and run alongside next to him is um, a dream come true and a blessing. Can you picture yourself out there at Suncorp Stadium? Um, uh, <laughs> with yeah, him? yeah, sort of with him. Um, he'll be on the edge and I'll be in the middle trying to look on his arm. On the inside for him. Different styles of players, obviously different positions and, and different temperaments, would you say? Different characteristics about yeah, you too? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I'm the quiet one, uh, Samuela the feisty one. Oh, I don't know what I thought. He's, he's a, he's, <laughs> nah. Seriously though, it's, it's quite crazy that it'll be six weeks since Latu made his NRL debut mm. against the same opposition at the same ground. And on that day, you drove the whole family all the way up there to yeah. Brisbane to watch it. Yeah, I had to, you know, it's his debut. I had to drive over. Like, it was like six hours. I didn't, like, get on the fly with my kids, just drove. But yeah, I think, um, yeah, it was important for me to be there for him. And yeah. You got two little ones, you got the third on the way. Your partner must be really proud of you. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> no, she. She didn't say any words. Uh, she started crying straight away. Um, yeah, no words from her, just happiness and a lot of tears. So Sunday night after the game, you come back to the team hotel, you put your head down on your pillow. What do you hope to see when you reflect on your game? Um, uh, a win against, his, uh, against Dolphin and um, you know, to keep um, Leggy and the coach staff happy with my performance. And your job? We kept pretty simple. What, what do we expect from you? Uh, just to do my job in the middle. I run hard, tackle hard. That's, um, that's all Benji wants from me and that's it.